Welcome to Bible Logos. My name is Antoinette Adams and I am your broadcast host. Today I am pleased to bring to you the conclusion of the powerful message called How Faith Comes. I need you to do something for me though. Please like it and share it on social media with your friends and family. All right, sit tight for the conclusion of How Faith Comes. You know they make it easy for us nowadays. You can go online and Google scriptures. You don't have to have a thesaurus or what, what them things called, not a thesaurus. Concordia. I can't even remember what it's called anymore. You don't even have to, I don't even remember how to use one. Either. Do you remember how to use one? I've forgotten how to use them now. But they, they, it's, God is making it easy. And we would rather go to Thunder Valley. Because we're more interested in that roulette reel. What pastor? Everybody stretch your hands toward Pastor Charlie. <laughs> stretch your hand. Just, stretch your, just stretch your hand toward Pastor Charlie. Take heed what you hear. If we want to be delivered, and deliverance is available to us, why would we not avail ourselves to it? Jesus said, with the same measure you meet, it shall be measured to you. So the scripture goes on to say that there was a certain woman who had an issue of blood for 12 years. And it goes on to say that she had suffered many things from many physicians. She had spent all that she had and was no better. But rather, the scripture goes on to say, she grew worse, grew worse. Over here in Mark chapter 5, verses 25 and 26. Now let's go to verse 27. Over in verse 27, it goes on to say, when she heard. It gives us her history about all the struggle, all the pain, all the complications, all the frustration. And she got to the point, it says here, when she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she kept saying to herself, if I can just touch him, if I could just, just get up to him, if I could just touch him, I shall be made whole. Faith comes by hearing. And see, sometimes you've got to get sick and tired of being sick and tired. Sometimes, as long as there's another way out, as long as there's a plan B, as long as there's some backup, as long as I can put up with it and deal with it, I'll just go ahead and put up and deal with it. But there comes some times when you're too desperate. It's, it's beyond yes. your capability, yes. and you cannot yes. live this way yes. any longer, yes. and enough is enough. Yes. And when we get to the point in time where enough is enough, and I cannot live like this anymore, and I cannot deal with this anymore, then I need to get to the Word of God, because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Just like this woman who had an incurable disease. Just like this woman who was not even allowed to make a public appearance because of the disease that she had. She couldn't go out in public. She risked her life, but she was sick and tired of being sick and tired. Sometimes it takes a risk of your life. That's when faith has to kick in. So this woman, the Bible says she heard about him. And she, that's all she needed right there was that she heard. And all you need to do, saint. All you need to do is hear what the word of God said. Get that word down in your heart. Am I talking about physical ears? No, we're not talking about physical ears. We're talking about spiritual ears. We're not talking about physical ears. We're talking about what you hear down in your spirit. Get the word of God down in your heart. Get the word of God down in your spirit because it brings faith and faith is what causes the manifestation of what you believe in God for to come to pass. The just shall live by faith. God is looking for somebody who will trust him. God is looking for somebody that will believe him. God is looking for somebody who will rely upon him. God is looking for somebody who will walk by faith and not by sight. God is looking for somebody that no matter what the winds are, no matter what the waves are, no matter what the storm says, no matter what the obstacles are, I'm going to stand on the word of God. Come on, saints, let's give God a praise up in here.
We are defeated no more. Look at somebody tell them, no more. No more victim. No more victim. And I know in the, in the society, we live in a society today where you, we have to be politically correct and, and we have to, you know, have empathy and sympathy over our victims and so on and so forth. And we can have empathy and sympathy and tell that person, but you don't need to stay there. Let that be your testimony of what God brought you out of, but don't stay. Do not take up residence in that location. Let it be a tabernacle style. We've got the answer to whatever it is. Sometimes it's more of a challenge than other times. But faith comes by hearing. Welcome back. This concludes our pastor's teaching called How Faith Comes. If you've been blessed by this message, please like it and share it with your friends and family. My name is Antoinette Adams and I want you to remember that the sower sows the word and therefore it is with the same measure you meet that it shall be measured unto you again.